So a small modification in World Vista CPRS. It was by an accident I saw an email where they were discussing that a spell checker was no longer working in CPRS. Mm -hmm. It was basically localized to the systems on which newer version of MS Office were installed and the older version was not present. I inquired and then she told me that maybe if I can help. So I spent a few hours on that. And I added a new spell checker in addition to the existing functionality which was open source based and it is being used in most of the other open source software including Mozilla, OpenOffice, LibreOffice and all those. It's already a part of Mac, it's part of iOS and it has been ported to Android also. So it's widely available. So I will spend next few of your minutes explaining what I did and how I did. This Hanspel 
spell check engine or for that matter any other any other spell check engine by itself works like a simple library you give it a word it goes through its own library its files dictionary files and if that particular word is not available in those dictionary files then it says that it is wrongly spelled or misspelled word and it tries to morphologically analyze the word and come up with the suggestions that what could be the possible alternate or the correct words that's it it doesn't do anything else the spell check engine by itself i mean this engine doesn't involve itself with anything doing with user interface neither it parses the text you cannot give it a full paragraph or multiple words it works on word one word one single word at a time how you parse your text how you highlight the wrong words how you come up with the pieces how you go through the loop it's up to the developer as far as the engine is concerned it's not related it doesn't provide any implementation or any feature set for that so those were the things basically i was required to do so yeah isolated word if you pass that in as a single word Yes, hyphenated words are counted as single words. That's what my understanding is. But now that you point out, I will have to again check on that. As far as the CPR is concerned, as per my limited understanding, these were the screens or the dialogues which use a spell check feature and were affected by this modification or addition of. Engine. 
for the general community, whether it's VA related, VA related or healthcare or non-healthcare or anything. This is the first screen. This is a nodes screen. You might recognize that nodes in the CPRS, where the right click context sensitive menu comes up, pop up menu comes up. You will see that there are two projects now highlighted with the red. Over. I have given, I have taken the liberty to add the suffix whether it is MS Office Space or Open Source Space. For mine, I have also used the shortcut key that is F7 to invoke the specific. This is the screen which I added. This is a single screen which is called at all the other places. It's not implemented in all the different screens separately. It's only one single implementation which is shared by all the dialogues. Mm -hmm. so that the changes or the modification to the source base are localized. I can't read all this. You have an ad dictionary button there, right? Yeah, I have, that is the URL from where you can pick up the dictionary of any other language. Like you might not like to use US-based English, someone might like a UK-based Great Britain dictionary or maybe Hungarian or something else. This is the part, if you remember, I said, this is a part of generic component, not just Vista CPRS. This is a part of generic component which could be used in any other Delphi application. I have given two URL, one is for medical dictionary and one is for any common, any language. I think 100 plus languages are actually covered as data. And there are tools available where you can customize or come up with your own dictionary if someone wants. Right. So there's an open source medical dictionary? Yes. Really? Oh, very nice. And so you can have spell checker actually have a, uh, do a spell check against a medical dictionary? Right. As on date, the one being low, which is actually being used on date in the CPRS version modified by me is medical dictionary based on US English, not Great Britain English. It's only for US based English, as on it. Then few members suggested that maybe we can, instead of invoking a separate dialogue, we can integrate a live spell check that when the user is typing, at that moment itself it gets highlighted and uh, right click menu can show the suggestion words, alternate words, which is still on drawing board. The other thing is that whatever new words are added by user, they are going to a custom dictionary as all the other software do. Currently, I am saving all those new words of custom dictionary as well as the preferences per individual user on their local system. It can go to the Vista server in a global so that it works like a roaming dictionary. Today you are logged in on this system, tomorrow you are logged in from separate system. Then it can pick up all those preferences and custom, custom dictionary from global and it becomes always tied with your profile. As on date, this engine also does not provide the grammar check, thesis check. I am looking into the option as how that can also be done, but since grammar was on low, lower priority, so as of now that is also priority. Then Nancy suggested adding something like macro words where you can type in short form or as a Someone mentioned as dot phrases, and I understand from Kevin's email that it's already implemented in his TMG CPRS. It gets the same job. It doesn't have where you type, type in dot, but it, it gets the same job done. Yeah, so we were planning. Now, what I have is just a very rapid way to get to a template. You just do control slash, name the template, enter, and so you could have like a Slash dot below, and that is dot below is the name of your, 
your template, but it would expand a little Because I've used autocorrect. Um, yes, I've been able to. These natural words before. But, so if there was a way to do autocorrect, you could, you could almost have support just natively just by implementing autocorrect. Auto yeah, that's what we were thinking. But since the time was yes, I was almost ready for travel. Yeah. This was just last few days only. You know what? I bet that that would be, for the end user, that would be higher than the ground check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put much time in the grammar for my life. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's usually just notably scattered phrases that don't form a whole anyway. Right. Yeah, so we were planning on that also. It should not take uh, too big a effort since most of the things are already done. Yeah, maybe next few days that should also be a part of this. Very good. That looks great. Any more suggestions? Or definitely will. I want to put a T and DC press on it. Sorry? I want to put a T and DC press. Yes. Where, where do you get this? Since, um, We've got it on the World List. It's on World List Star Trek server right now. Yeah, so the track server. There's a, uh, under, um, the track server under TPRS, there are, um, there's, there's trunks, branches, and tags. I believe this is under a tag. Yes. Yeah, as of now, it's a separate branch. It's not integrated in the main trunk source. But once they finalize it and decide a right. little bit of testing, then it should be available as a trunk. Yeah. But it's already available on the track server. If someone wants, there is a branch for uh, health saver CPRs under their. Source code is also available as well as the compiled technology. Okay, so that's good. So shall I move to the next one? One more presentation. Sure, go. <laughs>